Good evening. I am Linda DeVries, here with my colleague, Daniel Zettelmoyer, and we are reporting from Nichman Olympic Park here in beautiful Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. We have a wonderful program for you highlighting our Olympic participants and events, so let's get started. The Music Olympics competition has been fierce. And we have seen an amazing group of athletes. Yes, there were some wonderful displays of talent and a few surprises. Well, let's show you the results of the first event. I know the audience is so excited. In our first event, most unusual sound made by an instrument, it was a scary battle between brass and strings. Winning the silver medal was Nicola Conti. And bringing home the gold, Nadia Ali. Continuing with the unusual theme, our next event is the most unusual sound made by your voice. The judges went bananas over our bronze medalist, Bella Cannon, with her very realistic monkey sounds. <laughs> Our silver medalist, Dominic Haberstumpf, sounds like a stapler. The real standout here was gold medalist Andrew Bays with, well, we're not exactly sure what he sounds like, but it certainly is unusual. <coughs> Our next competitor earned the gold in two back-to-back -back categories. A huge congratulations goes to James O'Brien who took first place in playing London Bridges both forwards and backwards. Speed and accuracy were needed in our next event, performing Bim Bum. This was a tough decision, as all of our competitors were obviously skilled. The silver was awarded to Miss Nadia Ali, and edging into first place was Miss Edie Riddle. She's so fast that she reminds us of a little white rabbit that's always running late. In the next event, it was a veteran who took the gold, someone who has obviously spent some time in middle school. Clearly, the gold medalist in the body percussion category is Mrs. Sarah Hariniak with her magical feet. Our judges were looking for some patriotic flair in the best improvised performance of Yankee Doodle. Winning the silver medal, Mackenzie Daly. And taking the gold for the red, white, and blue, we have Nicole LaConte. This next gold medalist is obviously multi-talented. Please congratulate Dominic Haberstone for his first place beatboxing performance.
There was a lot of competition in the highest note plate event as the participants took their talents to a new level. The bronze goes to Nicole Aconte. The silver goes to Layla Ali. The gold medal winner is Grace Daya. Not to be outdone by our instrumentalists, we have another multi-medal winner in the Highest Note Sung event. Mrs. Rignac takes the gold again with her stunningly high note. How low can you go? A big round of applause goes to the athletes in the lowest note played category. Bronze goes to Brent Hepner. Nicole Lacanti takes the silver. And Stephen Lewiser triumphs with gold. And the winner of Lowest Note Sung goes to the very talented Bella Cannon. Give that girl a gold medal. These athletes are on fire like our Olympic cauldron out in the parking lot. And if there was a fire, we know just the competitor to summon the fire trucks. Winning the gold medal in most unusual instrumental sound, we have the one and only Nadia Ali. It was the battle of the healthiest lungs in the longest note played contest. This event had the most competition, but who was filled with the most air? The bronze award goes to Andrew Bays. The silver goes to Brent Hepner. Edging everyone out for the gold is Andrew Furch. Naturally, we didn't want to leave out this next event imitating something found in nature. The silver was awarded to Catherine Krauss. And taking home the gold, we have Isabella Cannon. In one of the toughest events, we challenged Nichman's finest musicians to build their own instrument and successfully perform Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. The judges were so impressed that we have a tie for gold. Receiving the gold medal, we have both Edie Riddle and Grace Daya. Well done, ladies. Here are clips of their performances. Well, that concludes our Music Olympics. What a wonderful display of talent and creativity. Thank you to all of our participants for their hard work and ingenuity. Until next time, this is Linda DeVries and Daniel Zettelmoyer signing off from Nichman Olympic Park.